Welcome. Continue the study of the Nathan made forms, which are some situations that we come across when you're trying to solve limits. In this video, we're going to try to solve this specific uh, limit here. It's a limit of x tending to y of x raised to y minus y raised to x and x raised to x minus y raised to y. The strange thing here is that you have a function which is of the base x and the power x and base y and the power y which makes these things complicated. So the first thing you have to do is try to solve this function in the conventional way. So to solve this function in the conventional way, what you can do is replace whatever we have uh, x with y. So what you're going to have here is x, instead of x I'm going to put y in the place of x, so I'm going to have y raised to y minus y raised to y, replacing this x with y, divided by y raised to y here minus y raised to y so we come across situation of 0 by 0 and this is an indeterminate form so we use L'Hopital rule now the L'Hopital rule says that to solve this we have to find the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator so the first thing is the numerator now to find the derivative of the numerator we know that this function is obeying the power rule. We have a playlist in which we explain the rules of differentiation. This obeys the power rule and the power rule is a rule that says that if you have x raised to n, its derivative is going to be x raised to n minus 1 and here multiplying by n. So this is the power rule here. And here again is going to be an exponential function in which we are going to have x on the power. And when you have a situation like this, it obeys a rule that says that a raised to x, the derivative of this becomes a raised to x into natural log of a. With this in mind, we find the derivative of this. So we are going to have, we can call this function here, this function we can call it as h, and this function here we can call as g. So h dash is going to be y into x raised to y minus 1. In this situation here, our y is a constant because it's a value to which x is tending to. So it's a fixed value, it's a constant. So we're treating it as a constant. h dash is going to be derivative of this minus, this is going to be treated as n. We're going to have y raised to x. Here, our y, which is a constant, is like this a here. So we're going to have y raised to x into natural log of y. Now denominator. Now in the denominator we have this strange situation x raised to x. It's basically like a mix of the power rule and this exponential rule here. So we have to know how to solve how to find the derivative of this. By, by now know that the derivative of this is going to be 0 because y is a constant. So even if it was a constant raised to 1 million, it would remain 0 because it is a constant. Now what is the derivative of this? We can first of all start with g or we can call it as y because this now is going to be a function alone because y is already out of the equation. So you can call this as y is equal to x raised to x. Can you call it as anything? y is equal to x raised to x. So to find the derivative of this, we just try to find here y dash to give us this. We will not know how to find this, but we know one of the rules of the logarithms. And the rule of logarithm says that if you have, for example, log natural log of, let us say, um, a raised to n, this is going to be n natural log of a. So if we apply log here of y is equal to log here, I'm going to use the base e. This can also be expressed in this way, natural log of y is equal to natural log of x raised to x. But this is not the end of the problem because we cannot find the natural log of y here and try to express this function in terms of y. We can express in this form. Now, still we cannot solve this. So in order to solve this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to use the implicit differentiation. So we're going to have d by dx and we know that y is a function of x. So of natural log of y is equal to d 
by dx of natural log of x. Here there's also another x. Now, this function here, we can find its derivative as it is, but then we have to know, to show that this function was differentiated with respect to uh, x. So what you're going to have here is 1 by y, the derivative of this, if you're taking derivative of this y as it is, it's going to be that. But now we are showing that we did this with respect to x. So it's like if you have a function ln of x, that's what you get, 1 by x. But in this case, because you used y, we are saying you are making it explicit that we did that with respect to y, which is we differentiated uh, with respect to x. That's why we keep this here is equal to the derivative of this. Now this is the product rule. So what you're going to have here is x into the derivative of the second one. x is, as, is kept as it is into the derivative of the second one which is going to be 1 by x plus derivative of x is 1 into the second one as it is ln of x. So what you're going to have here is 1 by y dy by dx is equal to this you can simplify and when you simplify this you're going to have 1 plus natural log of x this can be represented as y dash so what you can try to do here to try to we can try to take this from this side and put it over there we take this which was here divided and we want to multiply in this side so i'm going to have here dy by dx is equal to this y comes here because now multiplying what's divided here 1 plus natural log of x natural log of x fine this is y dash y dash this is y dash is equal to y we know we know when we started that y is equal to x raised to x so we are replacing this so we're going to have here x raised to x into 1 plus natural log of x. Now we have found what was the derivative of this. Coming back to our function, our function, our g dash, our g dash is going to be y dash minus 0. So our g dash is going to, is going to be x raised to x which is our y dash into 1 plus natural log of x minus 0 we can leave it as it is now our limit becomes limit x tends to y it becomes h dash divided by g dash it's going to be h dash we come here we're going to have here limit x tends to y h dash is y to x raised to y minus 1 minus y raised to x into natural log of y divided by g dash g dash was this one here x raised to x into 1 plus natural log of x that's what we found now now we have to test again to see if we're going to have Again, a situation of a determinate form of 0 by 0 or in any other form of determinate form. So what we do in this case, we can call this as L. We are replacing wherever we have x with y. So to do that, what we do? This is going to be. Now, we are multiplying this. It's basically as we are reducing here 1, because these multiplications we are increasing again 1. So, this is going to give us... We can further try to simplify this because you can see that this is a common term here and here. It's also here and here. So, we can just make it common. And this is simplified. We're going to have 1 minus natural log of y divided by 1 plus natural log of y. This is our solution.